Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha Nine. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna change things up a little bit in this episode. So, the last few episodes, I've spent a lot of time, you know, doing stuff in the base, uh, making modifications to vehicles, doing a little bit of mining, that sort of thing, uh, and it all needs to be done, of course. But I think what we're gonna do in this episode is we're going to we're gonna do a quest. I, I wanted to do some questing uh, in this season, and I really haven't done that yet. And I just kind of feel like we're at a good spot to be able to do that. Uh, we've got good a good supply of resources. Uh, we have warp capability now, uh, you know, big warp capability. And um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the space station. And but I think you know before we we transition up into space and spawn in my capital build and finish that, let's just spend a little bit of time and, and just do some questing and stuff. Have some fun with it. Check it out. Um, before we get started with that, however, I'm going to go ahead and get the space station uh, in the factory and get that going. So this is a space station that I built in Alpha 7, I think, um, and then improved it upon it in Alpha 8. And then, um, you know, have it saved here as version 2. Uh, it's a small station, but it's a functional station, and, and basically it's a, it's more almost more of you could call it like a building platform or a supply a supply station for for building uh, the whole reason I built it in the first place uh, was as a supply station as I built my capital vessel my big capital vessel um, but it does work it's functional and it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and get that thing going in the factory so it wants stone wants stone dust oh yeah wants stone dust because of the fact that we have um, it's uh, made out of concrete reinforced concrete to be precise so let's see stone dust what's the output on that 20 yeah let's just get i didn't really count that but we'll get a bunch of that going uh we have made 74 fusion cells which is pretty good so far with uh from the last episode and we still have a really good supply of uh, promethium going on there and uh, okay, so we got the stone dust. Go uh, can't talk stone dust going on. We need 763 silicon ingots. Let's grab those next. 763. That gives us 709. 771. All right, so that's our silicon. We need 636 iron ingots. So we have 530 there. Six hundred thirty-six. We need four hundred sixty-five Neo. Okay, uh, 402 cobalt. Three hundred thirty-one sathium. Hundred ninety nine carbon substrate. Hundred ninety nine. Hundred ninety nine. Lots of stuff in this station. Hundred eighty eight copper. And I wish we had a, a sort option like Seven Days does. It would be really nice. Um, um, Elyon. I just about called them Imperion. Okay. 158 Zask. There. 
And lastly, 158 Arrestrum. There we go. That's everything that we need to make our space station. Along with the stone dust, which, oh, I just made a million bazillion of that, didn't I? How much does it want? Uh, once 5,376. So that's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Here, let's get this stuff in the factory. Uh, make sure I'm on version 2, space station. Okay, 2 factory. Alright, and so basically we need another 2,300-ish. see what that gives us almost there another 69 it looks like we'll just put a little extra in there all right start production so at one hour and 40 minutes for our space station to finish up in the factory beautiful love it when a plan comes together okay um I think we don't really need to do anything else right now here. We've got uh, a bunch of pentaxid going there. What we could do is take half of that and put it in here. And make a bunch more here. Let that go. Now, the last thing I want to do before we get started on the actual quest is I want to go pick some seaweed and make some energy bars. One of you guys uh, mentioned in the comments that I had a bunch of seaweed in this lake out in front, and I couldn't remember if I had a bunch or not. So let's go take a look. I know there is some, I just don't know if it's like a whole bunch, so we'll see what we got. It looks like we have we do have a fair amount, and we'll pick up a little bit of alien plasmas while we're down here too. And then we'll make some energy bars so we have some food, and then we'll be good to go. So guys, what I'll do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick a bunch of seaweed and get some energy bars going, and then when I come back, we will get started with some questing. I'm excited to do it. It's gonna be fun to do that all right i'll see you guys here in just a little bit all right guys we're back and um uh, it's time to do some questing looking forward to this okay so let's take a look and see what our options are for quests we've got we're not going to do team missions of course we've got solo missions polaris tallinn xerax and this which isn't missions uh let's just do the solo missions i think this is the continuation of the robinson protocol i think pretty sure it is uh so let's activate the mission Confirm you engine a little uh, human remains activation. Yep, let's do it. Okay. Um is something supposed to happen? There we go. Personal log files. Open PDA. Alright. Uh first click on the headline it says personal log file on the left. Next wait for the message vanish and click on PDA info button in the upper right. Screen to show the contained info in the mission description. Note the button PDA log will display the log conversation just in case you forgot an info. Okay, so click on that. All right, so let's see. Farewell party with the team tonight. Hope Alex is coming over as well. Ouch, my head, what a hell of a night. Oh, this is the next day. Uh, Alex sent me a memo that we will meet up with the rest of the fleet at. Rendezvous Point Alpha for the first Andromeda departure preparations. The eggheads in the lab want me to check a security breach in the station's engine rooms, and their lasers are malfunctioning again. Uh, picked up an unknown material. Picked up a unknown material in a container next to the main core. Strange energy signature. Who has put this here? Managed to get to a safe spot. What happened? Dropped the specimen in the lab. Then all hell broke loose. Alien soldiers and creatures spawning throughout the station, trying to get the people off the station. I think they mean mean to say safe spot, not safe spot there. Uh, so this is like 
two and a half hours later. Um, all right, three hours later, leaving the station with the last freighter, heading towards rendezvous point. I am late. Alex and team have already moved to the Titan in Jupiter orbit. I'll try to get there with a short warp jump. Fingers crossed. Okay, so this is still in uh, the Milky Way on uh, in the Earth's orbit. That's bad. Jumped and then nothing. This is not Jupiter. Several contacts approaching the ship. These are not UCH vessels and they are blasting the ship to pieces. I'll try to get to an escape capsule. Boarding parties have entered the ship. Same soldiers in the station in terror orbit. Fights destroyed my suit and no spare suit available. Managed to transfer Ida to the capsule. Time to leave. From the capsule's window, I can see an enormous field of debris where I came out of hyperspace. What is happening here? Where am I? Where am I? Log in. Okay. So, read... Really manually complete this action? Suggestion. Please read the action's description. At least it contains useful hints. Wait. What am I doing? Um... All right, but what am I supposed to do now? Um, do I close the menu and then it... Okay, I start to remember the details. What does... Does explain what happened, but not why. Anyway, my gut feeling says I'll find out soon. Uh, just so you guys know, too, I, I never have completed the Robinson Protocol. I did part of it in Alpha 8, but I never completely went through it. So, um, most of this is going to be fairly new, new to me. Okay, so now what? I guess we we wait until we get an update. So we open this up again. Oh, here we go. Unidentified vessel. Go to signal. Rewards one detector. Oh, did we already get rewards for that? I don't see any rewards. Thought we were supposed to get like a medium suit of armor and stuff. Or maybe that's when we complete the whole thing. I don't know. Um. Yeah, it's, it's when we complete the whole the whole entire thing. Okay, gotcha. So we've done personal log file, unidentified vessel. Energy signature detected relating to a position far away from our current location. The energy signature is, identi signature is identical to those known from UCH command vessels. Finally. Before going there, consider building better equipment, weapons, and a hover vessel for being better protected at long travel distance. You can also spawn a basic model from the blueprint factory. Yeah, okay. So this is, kind of, this is assuming I'm like very brand new you know just started the game but obviously you know we've uh passed that point for sure i think what we'll do is we'll just use the jade jet and we'll leave everything else here for now um i should have okay we got rockets and we got plenty of 15 mil bullets how are we doing for fuel do i not have any spare fuel in this ship at all my goodness all right, well, here, let's pop into uh, the capital ship. Let's grab some Pentaxid, and we'll grab... Let's just grab the large fuel packs, because we've got the fusion cells in here. And we might need some Oxy, too. I didn't check that. Oh, we lost a ramp. All right, let's get that fixed. Not sure how that happened. I don't remember getting in any any significant combat in the stream. Uh, let's see, ramps. Oh, I actually haven't learned that. Small vessel. I'm not. I don't know if I have enough points to learn everything, so I'm kind of just doing stuff as I need it. There we go. Seems to me like the guys, you know, the server admins had mentioned in our Discord that we may not have enough points to get everything, so. I mean, just, you know, learning stuff as I need it, kind of. Policy here. I'm probably going to have to redo the sensors for this ramp, too, now I think about it. So we want this guy, right? I think. Yeah. 
All right, um, ah, oh, on it, I put my paint gun back in the base too. Oh, it looks like they'll, they're both active, so I shouldn't have to uh, redo that. Redo the sensors. Okay. So let's go in here. Um, so we got full oxygen. We have full fuel. We'll fill that up. And then we're going to put that oxygen, that fuel, that pentaxid in there as backups. And we should be good to go. Turn this, uh, turn the game sound down just a little bit. Okay, we are off. Make sure our weapons are loaded. They are. And we're going to go check out the Crash Titan front. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, um, I don't know how far I got into Robinson Protocol. I guess they don't even call it that anymore now. In Alpha 8. Um, I did, I do remember going to, to a, a couple of different parts of the Titan and doing something there, but I never really went any further than that with it. So this is all pretty new and uh, going to be fun. Hopefully it'll be fun. We will see. We shall see. Seven kilometers out. I just have to remember the whole deal with the gimped cockpit when we get out. You have to wonder, you know, why developers make certain decisions that they make. When I, when I read that in the patch notes about how they want you to have three blocks of space above a cockpit, I'm, you know, I, I automatically thought, no way, that's going to screw up so many small vessel builds, including my own. Uh, it affects both the J-Jet here, but it also affects um, the my Cylon Raider build, too, which at some point I'll, I'll spawn in. That's a really expensive build, though. So we're not quite ready to do that yet. first. Crashed Titan. Alright, it's the Titan showing a lot of weapon fire damage. The weathered hull looks like it has crashed here years or decades ago. Very strange. Check the records for more info, but stay alert of those who caused this disaster. Might still be around. Alright, we got a extra detector out of that deal. Gotta find more info. The scans indicate that the Titan broke into three parts. In case they are not close by, make use of the detector you just found in the wreckage and find the two remaining parts to retrieve more info. Okay? We can do that. Let's cut the power on here. Get out and get stuck. Lift that up. Get back in. Get back out again. What a pain in the ass that is. Go inside here. I guess we don't have to pull a core up. That's kind of nice. Used to have to dig around in this place to get everything. We could salvage these uh, crop plots. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'll keep that in mind. So 
So I think what we're doing is we're looking for another container, I think, that's going to have more stuff in it for us to learn about the mission. I just got to remember where the hell that's at. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's pick these things up. Are we not picking them up? Ah, shit. It's just giving us the parts for it. Alright. You used to be able to pick these up whole. Wait. Do I have it on retrieve blocks? Ah, I had it on salvage. Duh. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. So we'll uncover these and grab them. This was the hydroponics bay of the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go down. Maybe we do have to dig down a little bit and go down below. There's a fridge. Hey, look at that. That food's lasted all that time. Let's put it in my inventory. Oil's quick. Uh, you know what? I, I probably did have that on the right setting. I think it's just because I don't own this ship. There's only a chance that I get that stuff back. Might as well try and get these back too. Now, you guys, uh, do me a favor, okay? I appreciate help in the comments and stuff, but I don't like spoilers. So let me figure, let me figure out these quests on my own. And if I ask you for help, then help me. But don't tell me, don't tell me what to do. You know, if I, if I'm stuck, I wanna, I wanna try and figure this out. So I appreciate that. Let's go down this way. Before, before we completely commit to this, let's just look around one more time. We didn't really look on top either. I mean, as I recall, there was like a... Um, there was just another crate that we had to loot. Doing the console doesn't do anything. Doing the ATM machine, or whatever the hell that thing's called, doesn't do anything. What's on the other side of here? Nothing, it just goes out to the front. Alright, well, let's go up on top real quick before we go down underneath. Oh, I didn't see anything. All right, well, I guess uh, that's what we need to do is go down below. Fine, tight, mid part. Isn't this the mid part? Find the two remaining parts to retrieve more info. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I got this all wrong. It wants me to find the other two Titan parts, not something in this section. I'm glad I looked at that before I spent 30 minutes dig <laughs> digging down into this thing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Read the manual, old guy. RTFM, read the manual. That's what that stands for. If, you got, if you're an IT guy, you already know that. Okay, so we got to find the other pieces. 
I'm just going to leave that window out for now. Hopefully I don't regret that. Okay, so let's see. It said um, the detector might help us find the other part. So let's do I need have I already found the other part? Just from flying around? Crash capital vessel, crash type. There's the midsection right there. Look at that. Oops. Save that way for didn't I? did I? There we go. Accept. Yeah, I was I must be confusing this for um, either a later stage of this quest or uh, something different, because I I remember I did have to find like some stuff in a container in one of these pieces. Looks like that might be the back end over there too. This part is showing a lower power positioning signal or energy current of a container or locker on one of the wreckage. Go. Okay, so this is the one that I have to go check the container on. Just got a little ahead of myself as well. Whoa! Oh, I should have been paying attention. Doc, gun it. Um. That's the only one around. Oh, screw off, O-Tug. Whew, that could have been a, a disaster. Totally wasn't paying attention. Whew, okay. Status with faction talent change to honored, nice. So we probably have a little bit of damage on our J-Jet now, but ho I don't think it was too substantial. Here's a container. Oh, with a thermal boost. Okay, what's this got? Radiation boost. I think the container's out this way, if I recall. There it is. The data pad you found shows some strange scratches, which looks... So Whoa, okay. That went by really fast. The data pad you found shows some strange scra scratches which look similar to, similar to the symbols in the alien tower. Someone also wrote the word Xerox Talon Ancient next to it. The data pad is severely damaged and the info are complete. Possibly there's more info on the bridge in the back part and engine compartment of the Titan. Okay, um, I did not... I never did the alien tower though. I don't remember doing that on... I mean, I've done it before, but not here. So, I'm not sure why it assumes that I had already done that. If I had not already done that, I wouldn't have a clue what they were talking about. Whoa, what the hell was that? How did I just take damage? Oh, another drone! Shit, shit, shit! Doggone it! Where is it? Oh, there it is. I wonder if those things are scripted. They'll spawn in after you, uh, you know, you get to the next leg of the quest or something. All right. We might need to go back to the base and and build a, um, a repair bay. I mean, I've got one on the space station, so maybe we'll wait. Let's just wait. Uh, three, repair. Not seeing any significant damage. There's a little bit there. Ah, oh, doggone it, there goes the timer.
Oh, yeah, we lost a... We lost a shutter there, darn it. So I think in both cases the damage came from this side. So I'm just kind of sweeping along here. Okay, there's some damage. Right there. I wish you could see the little stream and hear it from the, the drone. Or, I mean, I know, I guess the, one of the reasons it doesn't do it is because you're still holding on to the thing in your hand, but... There's damage there. A little damage there. Okay. Right there. Did some damage. One of these said 78 up here. Where is that? Don't see it. All right. Well, anyway, time's up, guys. So I just I just saw it again. Maybe I should just use my eyes instead of the indicator to figure it out. Anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just pick right up where we left off and continue uh, on the quest here. Uh, in the next episode. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. And if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Come and hang out on Discord. Come and hang out on live stream. I do live stream several times a week on Twitch. You can find the links to both of those places in the about section of the YouTube channel. And I uh, just want to remind you once again that I am going to be out the last two weeks in January on a business trip. And I will not be making any new videos at that time nor doing any streams. Uh, but I am pre-recording these videos and I will have... Uh, Imperion, I'll keep the Imperion content coming to you guys. I won't have enough videos to release a video a day, uh, so I will have to stagger those out. Uh, but um, they will uh, they will keep coming, and uh, when I get back, we'll just resume and continue making videos in this really fun game. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day, and let's get um, airborne because these drones keep coming in. Rude. Just him? I think so. Alright guys, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.